Hello, welcome back to Battle Moon Wars. I actually remember I didn't say the title last time. Wow. I'll call that episode the one where I don't say the title of the game. So, we still have with me Ray. Hi ho! Who is playing the ever dapper Haruna. The apparent otaku Super Smash Bros. fan who loves mushrooms. And wards people away to hoard them for herself. Hoard them all. All. They must all belong to her. She and Marissa. By the way, she also ma she mains Mario. <laughs> it's like she's your friend. It's your secret best friend. Mains Mario, likes mushrooms, loves video games. If she were real. Um. Instead, though, Ray has to deal with the fact he is real best friend. As we all do. Um, but in the meantime, I'll mold her into my plaything. I mean, what? Ah. Uh, I said nothing. Um, why we're here with Haruna, even though we were with Takumi last time, was Ray and me talked, and by talked, Ray made a suggestion, which actually was kind of a good suggestion. Um, we're gonna do the Haruna playthrough along with Takumi, along the same way, but the first level is the same for both of them. Exactly the same. So, Haruna is jumping ahead of Takumi, in other words. In uh, her first episode, this one is going to be what happens afterwards, but when she heads off to the Tono Mansion. So, yeah, we're gonna start with Haruna. I've upped her stats all by. Um, one bar tough. So tough. Duh. Tough. change it. So change it. Yes, we are pretty much ready to go. Rena's ready, I've saved. So yeah, next stage. Time to put on my bunny hood. And now I shall play the woman with this piece. Because I did last time. It's dark already. I heard that the puppet master was coming here. I wonder if she'll actually show up at all. <sighs> Can't seem to find a so-called seal-appointed super first-class mage, no matter where I look. I looked in a copy of Nejima and there wasn't one there. Look harder! Shut up, disembodied voice! Duh! Look harder! Shut up! I had to deal with you enough during my childhood. Plus, this town gets into the creeps. I know there's news of missing people and murders. You know, I know this... Shut up! Even knowing that, this place just feels odd. Especially with a disembodied voice of a Brooklyn guy following me around. Oi! Hello there, young lady. Wonderful evening, isn't it? Rin and Nanya. I don't I like where this is going! For those of you who don't know, because I'm what your type moon... Tell it to type moon... I don't... I can't come up with a witty way of, you know... Let's type type moon. Or let's talk type let's talk type moon. There we go, I got it. Finally. Good one. Sorry, it took me a while. Um the game, as I haven't mentioned, is a parody of Super Robot Wars, but it's made by people it's a Dojin game made by people who admire Type Moon, which is a studio that's well known for visual novels with a bit of Eroge in them, but a well known for, you know, cool. Damn that Eroge. Bar that, it's got some cool characters, a storyline about e ancient vampires, good, bad, you know, the consequences of the ancestors left to the descendants, and uh, they've got dozens of visual novels and stuff. And uh, the three that appear in here, I think one called Kara no Kyuki? I think I've said that exactly wrong, so I'll look it up later. Tsukihimi, slash Melty Blood, uh, which is a series in itself, and a game called Fate Stay Night, or the Fate series. Rin is from Fate Stay Night and its subsequent sequels, and she's a mage. She's been trained... Yeah, a surprise than this, she served in a war called the Holy Grail War, which was the setting of Fate Stay Night, where there was a grail of ultimate power, which when, you know, caught... Wonderful was guarded by a black knight, and then suddenly Monty Python came along. There was a blackish knight, but she was born by accident. So, well, kind of. 
Rune is a powerful mage. She had a servant called Archer in this battle. She's quite, you know, headstrong. She believes, you know, she's worked hard to get where she is and her gifts. And, uh, you know, Rin believes, you know, she's a good mage. She is a good mage, I, I say. But her personality got kind of solidified in subsequent games, which you will know happens here as well. Basically, she's a tryhard, I guess. Yes. Who are you? Nanya, or Nanya, or otherwise known as Nanya Shiki, or Shiki Nanya, Anya. is in Tsukihime there was a protagonist called Shiki Tono, who was the main protagonist who was supposedly adopted by, he doesn't know, but he's been adopted by the Tono family, whose father hired a killer to murder Shiki's family. Shiki's family were the Nanyas, or the Nanyas if you want to say Aya. Um, and Shiki Nanya is his true name. And it's fine to believe that Na Shiki Nanya, this guy, is what Shiki would have become if he had ignored the value of life. Shiki's tremendous powers and the ability to cut the lines of death, or the lines of life, that inherently are within people, by cutting these lines, they uh, kill the person's existence completely. Nanya. So basically, he screws life and death over just by existing. Shiki has that ability, but he chose to choose life, and he doesn't like his ability that much, you know. He prefers people, he prefers, you know, being so awesome. So he doesn't want to use his super hacks powers. Whereas cool. Nanya doesn't know that. He has no concept of the value of life, and as such kills for the joy of killing. So he abuses his super hacks powers. Yes. He's his split personality, ironically using Shiki's actual name, though Shiki's the better person. So, yeah. He's crazy. We'll prove that within the next few sentences. Huh? <laughs> the moon is so beautiful tonight. It's just fragments of my thoughts are being reflected by it. Apart from the fact I'm very dubious that this should be an episode of Jerry Springer. What are you going on about? Is your head on right? No. Ah, what a nice setting. I'm such a homicidal maniac and proud of it. Ah! Ah! Uh, uh, are you Hannibal Lecter? So. Um, Hannibal. You're the person behind the murders here? That was helpful. Regardless, blame your terrible fortune for our encounter tonight because I will use my plus ten knife. I'll make sure you get beautifully torn to pieces. It's a plus ten knife. Episode two, Night of the New Moon, or the Haruna Route mission. Basically the same as last time. Defeat all the enemies to win, if you you lose if everyone dies. The battle mastery is to complete it within five turns. Harder than you'll think. So over here we so have- So watch out, Rin, he's got a plus ten knife! Plus ten knife indeed. So over here we have Rin. She is good health, good energy. She's a mage, so likely she uses magic spells. Yeah, only three moves. She has two moves. Ganda, which is an attack which is a 2400, it's quite well ranged. And her ultimate attack for now, one stone, all my soul. Which... Slightly more powerful, but it's not exactly you know, Takumi's overpowered super. But it's not meant to be, really. So, yeah. Let's see. She has focus, like um, Haruna. She also has alert, which avoids the next enemy's attack. Yay, alert! So, yes, we're going to move forward because it seems the only thing that we're meant to be doing is. You know, versus. Nanya! Now it's possible to of course to kill bosses. This is the first boss, by the way, that will leave a certain health. But yeah. There are ways of avoiding this. Hello Harina. What the what the heck is going on? Clearly it's an episode of Jerry Springer. Hey! Swinging a knife like that around a girl is dangerous! You could poke someone's eye out with that plus ten knife! I 
gonna hear you right over the reinforcement theme, which just went, ah, reinforcements, reinforcements, reinforcements. Mr. Overriding the game. So we have two enemies here. I'll explain what they are once I've got their stats up, because I keep forgetting their names. I kept thinking that was Dokuro Chan from, I think, an anime. Um, let me see. We're an anime! <laughs> Shut up! Uh. Trust me, you've got plenty of spirits to last this battle. So five turns. Hello. Hey, stand back! Stand back, stand back, stand back, stand back. I'm gonna use my ray gun. Your ray gun? Well obviously well obviously she uses the ray gun plus the beam sword from Smash Brothers. Let's see. She has a support attack with Rin and Ganda. So let's see what oh, results. Sweet, Yay! So let's do this thing. And um name. Give me a name. Oh, alright. Don't give me a name. Her name is Sayori. She has a cut in, which is quite cool. Level up. She's getting levels like a boss. Now let's see. We're gonna have Rin has something called hit in a way, which means that you should attack first with her, then move. Let's see. Ganda. This isn't gonna do much damage, but at least it's gonna do something. Beam of Fate Stay Night. Dodge this or you're dead. Okay, well, you're not dead. But I'm still. an anime! Would you shut up? I'm an anime! So over here we have Ruriko. Um, I'm she. An anime. She's an anime. Did you know? Uh, Did you know? She Great has things. one attack, which is Poisonous Broadcast, which has a high attack rate if it hits. And long range. Did I mention that? No? Okay. Radio wave transmitting. I'm, I'm an anime. An anime. <laughs> I'm an anime. Apparently. God. That's quite a good attack rate, I'll be honest. I'm an anime. Would you shut up? Sniped. That was quite good damage. I'll... And now more from this lady. Punch. So bear in mind, you still have to defeat all of them within the time limit to do this. Unlike last time. There's a sizable amount of them. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see. Got plenty of time. While Rin tries to decide which of the anime she wants to deal with first. Would you shut up up there, creepy guy? We'll get to you soon! So yes, the key thing is really... Just be careful how you move, really. Sorry it's being a bit laggy, but to be honest, with what I'm trying to do with this computer at the moment, I'm not going to push it too much. So let's see. That's right. Hey, anime! You've just been cancelled! Wow, she even had the one liner.
And as we see, the anime cannot outlast everything. Nanya moves! Okay! I'd say you move, but that's kind of a cliche at the moment. Now his attack. Eighth cut. You kind of suck, don't you? So we have two turns left. So I think we'll be fine. Just make. Surprisingly, that worked in the end. As does this. I'd say it. Hello. Sorry, my dad just came in, so... I realise this may sound awkward for about a few minutes. Still got plenty of time, though, so... So yeah, so it is being a bit laggy at the moment, so I can't fix that. Um, let's see, use the... I realise I become very awkward when people are around when I'm recording, because I always think I sound a bit... Well, crazy, to put it bluntly, so, you know. It's not my best look, being crazy. These animes are getting cancelled left, right, and centre. And Rin levels up. I probably need to turn the music down a bit so I can hear Ray a bit better. Actually, I will. And actually, I wonder, if you start a new game, do you have to re-alter the sound? Yes, I do. So, let's see. There we go. Try speaking now, Ray slash Nanya slash Haruna slash creepy person. We're all talking! We're all talking! We're all talking! There we go. <laughs> and it works. Rin? No one cares about me. I'm sorry, Rin. <laughs> Oh, uh, and let's see, come and see the best character acting you've seen in a while. So Haruna goes ahead. And it hits. He looks so shocked, as Ray once pointed out. Now we can finally look at Nanya, or Nanya, as I said. He is focus, and here's Excel. Surprisingly, he does have another move. He has 8th cut, but he also has instant jail, which does only 2,000 more. Oh god! Instant jail is a pretty much a red card! He's gonna give you a red card, bro! No! Well, here we go. Do I have a better attack yet? Come on, Haruna, get more will. Please get more will. This may hurt. Well, that was embarrassing. See Nanya's classy to the very end. She has her ultimate attack, which she can now use. Though it might not hit. There's a very good chance it won't hit. Bat her up. Things in this game, but there are better things as well, so 
I'm not gonna blame the game entirely. So let's see, only Haruna can drive him off at this point. Charge shot! Dodge. Don't make me load the state game. Oh, oh. Oh. Ow. Level up. <laughs> and that is why Haruna has trouble dealing with some attacks. Ow. 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 You okay there? <laughs> Says Rin. I mean, Rin's probably just going, You okay? Yeah. You Does look, it look like it? You appear to be bleeding. A lot. Get the battle mastery by default. Oh, yes, we do. Kind of like the Death Star and the Rebellion. There are two ladies. I know. It's like Um, he'll have to tell you another because I have to go for just a second. So yes, you'll just have a minute of Ray talking <laughs> to himself. That far. And I'm back. And the only thing I'm going to know about this is when I load the video up and watch what Ray's just said, so that's going to be a good surprise, isn't it? Maybe. And we'll pretend that, well, technically Fraps wouldn't film that anyway, so. So there he goes, he teleports off, because he can teleport. See. Help. You okay? You you appear to be bleeding still. Why was it with that guy? He looked dangerous. I'm suddenly all better now. Band-aid panel one? 
because he called himself a homicidal man. Are you sure you're you? You did get stabbed several times. Homicidal. Okay, let's pretend you didn't just get stabbed, and that's what he told me at the start. Could he be the city's infamous murderer? I mean, with this plus ten knife and all. Uh, not every murderer has a plus ten knife, but that's what I thought too. Be denied being responsible for some of the murders. Ugh, we should have let him escape. We need to capture him. Are you okay? You're gonna. You look like you're about to be sick. Capture him? This this is because you got stabbed, isn't it? Think no, you but okay, maybe. We may have to get you to a hospital, because didn't you see him summoning evil spirits to do his bidding? He's no ordinary cutthroat, otherwise he'd have an axe and would walk out of water, that's for sure. Do you know about these evil spirits? They kept chanting that they were anime. Well, I guess maybe they're the spirits of cancelled anime pilots. I mean, I'm not from around here, but I heard that from another guardian. myself yet. I'm Haruna Mochizuki. What's up? What's up? Just call me Haruna. How about you, Miss Magician? Um, Rin Tosaka. Thanks for helping out. You... Seriously, you did get stabbed multiple times and kicked in the face. I think I'm all better now. In the face! In that case, can I just call you Rin? Or Rin Rin? Call me Rin. <laughs> You're gonna call me Ren Ren, aren't you? Yeah, Ren Ren sounds fun. And funny. I consign myself to this fate. Sure. You know about our kind, despite being able to use magic. Are you a Yukai, Haruna? What the? How'd you know? A magic? The division requested our services. Shinai HQ ordered us to take care of some things. The headquarters? Does Yukari live there? Oh, wait. I'm thinking of those Yukai. Oh, I just made an obvious Toho joke. I... I have no sh words for my shame. The situation here is much worse than I thought. Did you come alone? I'm here with my usual partner. Except he decided not to show up. We split up, so I was about to go meet, go meet with Akiha, the Misaki Guardian. How about you? I want to ask whether by partner you mean boyfriend, but I think that'll become clear as the plot unfolds, so I'm looking for someone. Oh. Boom. Uh, what's that pillar of light? Someone's that's using a final smash! A final smash? No, that, that's clearly the plot. It came from the Tornal Mansion? Can't be, right? Put an end to that. That's an entirely different plot slash hero's game. Oh, Guzzy! So, yes, Rin joins the team, and while I add another thing on there. Um, tough! Yeah, she got some tough in her. Whatever that means. So, with that, I'm going to add up some more stuff and Rin I'm going to use a bit because I for the last playthrough I've been the playthrough I've been doing I've been under using Rin which is annoying because I like Rin but it's kind of a thing where I like her yeah I don't use her because I'm a derp so on that note I'm gonna save this um I'm guessing it's time for you to go to the person that you need to meet Ray about 25 minutes. Oh, I... uh, it won't, won't be that long. I mean, I'll come back in like five minutes. It's not that long. Oh. Do you want to record more when you come back? If you're up for it, bro. Okay, bro. 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 And to be honest, we can probably fit one more part in the 20 minutes. So. Let's see. We. Oh, yeah. I'm trying to think. So. On that note, so the last time we did that, I did Nanya's voice, but I'm going to have Elaine Ray do that because that was the son of Hannibal. Yeah, 
so... That was some sort of weird and I liked it. So on that note, next time you see us we'll be doing Takumi's first part, where we'll be covering the Tsukihimi aspect of things. Why I say Tsukihimi is the next part will illustrate we've got a very Fate Stay Night sort of vibe going on. See you then.